on YouTube. You're watching Old Mate's Backyard Tech. Alrighty, now on Monday of this week, so just a couple of days ago, I showed you guys that the mission we were undertaking to get Debian 11.2 with KDE 5.20.5, or as I say, KDE 5.25, onto my big late 2009 27-inch iMac was done. Now, what should have been a cakewalk or a walk in the park, pick one, you'll be right, turned into an absolute mission. I didn't expect it to be so hard, but... The job's done, and I am so happy to have Debian 11.2 with KDE here on the desk. Now, in that video, I showed you guys how I'd also managed to get the fans in this Big Mac under control. Now, if you haven't seen that video yet, I'll leave a link up there for it. Go watch that before you watch this video, because this video pertains to MVP Fan. Late yesterday, Arvo, I got an email from a viewer who's got a mid-2009 21.5-inch iMac. They're also trying to get Linux on, but they're unsure about how to set up MBP Fan, and have asked old mate for a KIWS tutorial on it. Well, that is something I cannot refuse not to do, if that makes sense. It's time for server PC stuff here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech, and for this one, a quick KIWS tutorial on how to configure MBP Fan up against LM sensors and the Apple SMC768 file. Here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech, it's time for server PC stuff. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It's time for server PC stuff here at Old Mates Backyard Tech for Midweek Wednesday combined with a KIWS tutorial video as well, the first of them for 2022. It's been a while since we've done a KIWS tutorial video. Um, this comes off the back of an email I got late yesterday, Arvo, from a viewer who's got a mid-2009 21.5 inch iMac. And... Um, they're trying to get the fans to quieten up as well. And um, they also thought fan control would work, but quickly realized it wouldn't. This is from Liam. Hi there, old mates backyard tech. Recently discovered your channel and going through your playlist, noted that you have a KIWS tutorial video playlist. Um, I'm wondering if you would be willing to do a KIWS tutorial video on this topic. I have a mid-2009 Apple iMac that I have recently installed Linux on and I'm unable to get the fans to quieten down. I tried fan control and PWM config and that was to no avail. It did not work. I watched your Apple iMac Debian 11 job done video and noted that you had MBP fan installed and seemed to make your fans quiet. I'm a little confused as to how to set all this up and don't really understand the documentation. May I ask for a KIWS tutorial video on how you got all this sorted out and what was involved in it? From Liam. Okay. Yes, I am very happy to do that, Liam. Um, I don't mind helping people out as often as I can. Turn off. Ah, that button. <laughs> Another good continuity there. Look, it, MBP fan is pretty easy to configure. Okay, I, I made my final configs to it yesterday because there was a couple of things I needed to just change a little bit. But I'm more than happy to do a KIWS tutorial video on MBP fan, LM sensors, and the Apple SMC.768 file. The, uh, at least from a Linux point of view, and, and I think this is where... It, it, it makes life a little easier, especially with Linux. Is I've noted one time I put uh, Windows onto a Mac, it, it sort of worked, but it didn't work really well. There was things there that just didn't work properly. Okay. Um, but at least with Linux, most Linuxes are smart enough to know they're going onto an Apple. So it's easy for them to, to work out what's going on. So what I'll do, I'll fire up the big Mac. I'll... Uh, reactivate x11 vnc and we'll log in from the main read because it's a little easier to do that and uh, i'll show you how to do lm sensors against the apple smc file and then also mbpfan.conf so let's get into it all right i should actually clarify lm sensors isn't going to work on a mac all right 
census book because it reads that apple smc.768 file so liam the first thing you want to do it's pretty easy you simply you don't even need to do this as su or su do or any root privileges you just type in census that's all you need to do all right and you can see here it reads it from the 768 the apple smc 768 isa file all right now you don't need to worry about any of these what you're looking at are your three fan speeds so you've got your optical disk drive your hard disk drive and your cpu and you can see here the optical drives at 948 the hard disk drives at 1298 and the cpu is also at 948 now you could bring that up a bit if you want okay but as you can see, my, my core temperatures are pretty good. Actually, they're lower than the main PC at the moment. All right? And that's mainly because nothing's been, nothing's running. All right? So they're your, they're your individual sensors. All right? So once you work that out, what you can then go and do is go to Dolphin. What you want to do, you want to go to System. You want to go to Devices. You want to go to where is it, platform and Apple SMC 768. And these are all your Apple sensors and your SMC sensors. Okay. And you can see here you've got fan one. All right. So that's all your fan one. That's all your fan two right across there. And then your fan threes. All right. You can open each one. So if we open up. Uh, let's have a look at fan one max and fan one max's maximum speed is 3800 all right let's look at fan two and there's fan two which is the hard drive fan okay 5500 we look at fan three. And there's a CPU fan. Okay. Now, what you can do here is we've had a look at fan one. That's optical. Fan two is my, my problem child, isn't it? So fan two, which is the hard drive fan, its low is 1100. All right. And its max is 55. So you take out, you, you, you look at all those fan profiles, okay? Once you've looked at all that, so that's in, basically it's in Sys, Devices, Platform, Apple, SMC, 768, okay? It's pretty easy to get to, regardless of the DE you're using. Now, I'm making the assumption this viewer's putting Debian on it, all right? It, sh it theoretically will be the same for um, Ubuntu too, all right? But I'm running Debian. All right, so now that we've done that, what we can do here is go what? Oh, wrong password. And then all we do is go All right, so once you've downloaded and added mbpfan.conf, all right, what you then do is look at those minimum and maximum speeds of your fan and adjust them accordingly so that they're quiet. All right, so if I, if I can zoom in here, uh, can I zoom? Can, but I don't want to make it much bigger. So, fan one's min speed is 950, and fan one's max speed is 3000. Now, 3000 is pretty quick. All right. The hard drive fan, fan two. So, that's fan one is optical, fan two is the hard drive, and fan three is the CPU. Now, I could bring the CPU up even further. I could bring it up to 4600 if I wanted to. My main issue is fan two, which is the hard drive fan. 
Right. You see here, I've got the hard drive fan set there. Now, I could change all these to a 1,000 if I want. On, on a hot day like today is going to be, and if I do end up doing something on the Mac today, I will change the min speeds to a 1,000. Or maybe even 1,500. Okay. At the moment, though, they're quiet. Now, if I had these going faster, it'd be a different story. You can see here my max low temp. All right. Now, I haven't changed them. All right. And my polling interval is one. Now, you can, you can change that. You can go to half a second on the polling interval if you want. Or you can go out, I think, as far as, I think, five seconds. I'm not sure. I think you can go out to five seconds on the polling. I wouldn't go any more than that, actually. So once you've written all these in, all right, you simply save it, all right? Um, or if you want, I'll tell you what, well, I can show you this. So let's, what we can do, there it is there. What we can do is we can actually change these. In fact, I probably will. I'll change them to a thousand. Ah. Can't use the keypad. So let's say we change all these to a thousand. Right. So they all change to a thousand, and I change these, say, to thirty five hundred. All right. Now, if I go to if I go to sensors, hasn't bought it up yet. But it will. All right. If I what we could do with this actually, if I'm clever enough, is I reckon if I log out, oh no, that's right. I've got to go back to, I can't remember how to do it. Your best bet, actually, now that I think about it, your best bet would be to do a reboot, all right? So let me reboot, all right? Let me reboot uh, the Mac. I can't do that with X11. I've got to do it manually. Let me reboot the Mac. We'll come back and we'll check to see whether or not those fan speeds have gone up. All right, so we're back. And I can tell you now, one fan is running faster. I don't know which one it is. So you can see here how they've come up. All right, now there is, as you saw, we, we increased the speed to a 1,000 and the minimum end. And you can see already the hard drive fans come up. Now, you guys probably can't hear it much, but I can definitely hear that the hard drive fan is running faster. All right, and that's all you do. It's pretty simple, Liam. Just, you know, use your sensors, check your fan speeds in Apple SMC 768, and then adjust MBP fan accordingly. Now, MBP fan's available through Synaptic um, and your standard app install from Ubuntu. Um, I think it's, it's either DMF for Yum, under Red Hat, Fedora, so on and so forth, whatever, but it's there, all right? Don't be fooled by the fact that fan sensors, uh, fan sensors really only work under the PC domain, whereas MBP fan is better off for a Mac. All right. Now, whether that's true for the newer Macs, I don't know, but I can definitely tell you with the older Mac, MBP fan runs like a dream, an absolute dream. So hopefully that helps you out, Liam. It's pretty simple to get your head around. I know the documentation and stuff is, is, you know, confusing and that. But it's it's very easy if you just look at your sensors, look at your SMC file so you can see how many fans you've got and then adjust mbpfan.conf uh, to match those 
fans okay and as you can see you know everything's come up now depending on what you're going to do with that mac is going to depend on your fan speeds okay in the case of old mate as a backup audio rig all right i don't need to really worry because audio does not strain a system like video can all right in audio one second is one second all right particularly if we're talking real time um midi uh midi can depending on how many voices you're using if you don't know what i mean and you claim to be an expert you're an idiot um i mean my main rig as it is configured at the moment can probably take i think in one hit 16 voices at once the mac in its current configuration i could probably only get away with four voices at once which isn't many four voices is not many but with the age of this mac and its spec four voices would be pushing it 16 would be impossible um but it's not going to do anything other than that so liam i'm hoping that makes it easy for you to understand how to do it and uh, anyone else you know, MVP fan, very simple. All right, it's probably one of the most simple. I keep looking at the Mac. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because finally I've got a nice Debian system here at the desk. Um, shame it's an Intel Core 2 Duo. I can tell you one thing. If this was a Core i7, 27-inch iMac, which I think the motherboard would fit, but I don't think the screen would work. If this was a 27 inch, 27 and a half inch, or whatever it is, sorry, 27 inch iMac Core i7 with 10 gig of RAM, and I think that had what a 2 gig graphics card, I would be trying to figure out which one of the two rigs to use, whether the main rig or the Apple iMac rig. It'd be, I'd be in trouble, put it that way. But there we go. Hopefully that helps you out, Liam. I'm hoping that is as simple as it can be. Anyway, stick around. Uh, oh, before I forget, one other thing. When you're configuring MBP fan, all right, make a note of your temperatures, all right? If you're finding your Mac getting hot against your min and max speeds, don't change your fan temp. Change your fan speeds that mvp config can change your temperature as well and you can change it from c to f celsius to fahrenheit if you wish it automatically knew as soon as i picked australia that i was running in celsius but if you're outside of australia or you're outside of a country that uses celsius and you may be using fahrenheit you can adjust it for fahrenheit as well i'm using celsius because here in australia that's our default way we measure temperature some people say that's backwards some people say that's right i mean you can't win can you anyway there we go so liam hopefully that helps you out as well stick around we're going to get back into our little troubleshooting video series we started yesterday coming up shortly have a good one this has been an old mate's backyard tech presentation